Marie Skwodowska Curie was born in Warsaw, Poland in 1867. Her parents insisted on good educations for their children, and Marie was an especially good student. At age 15, she graduated at the top of her high school class. But women were not allowed to attend the University of Warsaw, and that is why, according to historian Spencer Wirt, Marie left Poland and headed to Paris. Well, it all starts with Marie Curie, a vivacious, very determined redhead from Poland. If she wanted to be a scientist, and she did, there was no way to be that in Poland. Even for a man, because of the Russian occupation, it would have been very difficult. And for a woman, no matter how brilliant, no matter how determined, uh, the only route from Poland to uh, any kind of career was through Paris. She lived in a garret, practically starved, made her way up, found patrons uh, in the usual fashion, and eventually managed to carve out a scientific career for herself. In 1894, after earning master's degrees in physics and mathematics, Marie faced a difficult decision, stay in France or return to Poland. Marie loved her native country and had promised her father she would return. Hélène langevin Joliot, the granddaughter of Marie and Pierre Curie, says that in the end, Marie followed her heart. It was difficult for Marie to decide because Poland or France and uh, um, the exchange letters, very beautiful letters, in fact, the letters from Pierre Curie uh, were successful to decide her to remain in France and remain with him. He wrote something like, it will be a beautiful thing uh, to spend our life together, a humanitarian life, and uh, also your patriotic life, your patriotic life, and your all scientific life. In the summer of 1895, Marie married Pierre Curie, who was eight years older than she, and already a distinguished French physicist. They spent their honeymoon riding bicycles in Brittany. 